living here is so serene. And before, you know, I lived in King's Cross for almost 15 years, which is not serene. <laughs> it's a constant form of inspiration. I'm Tom, I'm the founder of Cubits, a modern spectacles company. I discovered the ICECOM by accident, I think like a lot of people. When I first moved to London in 2002, I just used to wander around the streets and I remember coming to Hampstead Heath and then getting lost. Then suddenly, from out of the trees emerged this building, this white ship liner that at the time was covered in graffiti. And I was just a bit taken aback by it. Based on that, just started doing research, went down to the V&A and saw the Ice Cream Furch Company collection and kind of became obsessed with it ever since, really. Last year, it popped upon the modern house, the penthouse, which has, I think, only ever been available to buy on the market once. I was lucky enough to make an offer that was accepted and then moved in. It felt like not just that I was just moving home, but I was sort of leaving my previous part of my life and entering a kind of new one. Without trying to sound too grand, it feels like you're living in a, an art piece, really. You feel less a resident and, I think, more a custodian. And obviously it's Grade 1 listed, which comes with a whole bunch of challenges. And you just become extremely cognizant and aware of every single little bit of the building, every single little design detail, every single piece of material, and uh, form an incredibly strong relationship with it, frankly. I mean, I think I was attracted to it because it felt so timeless. But also, I think, what it represented, right? So at a time, the late 20s, early 30s, there was a positive outlook about doing things differently and challenging the status quo. And it felt like that was such a rich period of time, which produced so much interesting outputs that are still, you know, I'd argue, as relevant today as they've ever been. 